Hey, what is up guys? I'm Liam, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to remove an iCloud account from an iPhone running iOS 7.1.2, and this is without resetting it. Um, so yeah, let's get right on to the video. Okay, so before I start, um, I just want to say this is pretty much completely inspired by Hugh Jeffrey's video. I will link his video down in the description below. Um, he did the exact same thing. I just wanted to do a... I wanted to try it on an iPhone 5. So that's the only thing I'm going to be doing different than him because he used an iPhone 4 for this video. But I will be using an iPhone 5 and seeing if it works through there. Anyways, um, what you'll need is an iPhone, well, I, an iPhone, any iPhone, and there's a catch. You have to have access to the phone. Now, as you can see, mine is on, oh, wait, mine is on someone else's iCloud. That is not my iCloud right there. Um, I don't know whose iCloud that is, but it's not mine. Um, so, yeah. Um, so you need to have access to the home screen, and catch number two is you need to have it jailbroken. Um, jailbreaking is pretty easy on 7.1.2, um, and yeah, it's really easy using Pan, um, Pangu, um, or Pangu, however you say it. Um, anyways, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is obviously unlock your device. Here, let me turn down the brightness a tiny bit. All right. Then you want to go to Cydia, and after you're done jailbreaking it, um, it will say preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. So it will exit, and then you just tap it again. So let's wait for that. I don't know how long this is going to take, but it shouldn't take too long, especially on an iPhone 5. But, yeah. Actually, I'll just pause the video. Hold on. Okay, so it has restarted, um, and what I mean by restarting is that the springboard restarted. So, like, I don't know how you explain it, but it's not, like, fully restarting your iPhone. Anyways, you just want to unlock it and go back into Cydia. And for an iPhone 5, just click Ignore. And then you just want to type in either iFile or IF. And then if you type in IF, just go all the way down until you find iFile, which is right here. And then you want to hit install. And then hit confirm. And it will be downloading. And then you just want to wait until it's done downloading. And when it is done, it'll tell you to restart the springboard, I believe. And if not, then that's also good. Okay. Well, now that it's installed, um, just go to your home screen, and as you can see, um, iFile will be right there. Um, now, the reason I said it might restart your springboard is because some apps on Cydia will restart your springboard. But anyways, you just want to click on iFile. Then you want to go to... Where is it? You want to go... Hmm. Here, hold on. Let me find it real quick. Okay, so I found it. What you want to what you're going to want to do is just go to library and then click on accounts. And there will be three accounts here and you just want to how do you Oh, you just hit edit, select all of them and then select delete. And once you do that, no files will be in there and then when you go when you're done with that, you just want to go to the home screen, go to settings and it did not work. I don't think. You might have to restart your iPhone. Okay, um, sorry about that interruption, but yes, um, you did have to restart your iPhone. Um, so anyways, once again, I am sorry for that interruption, and I swear to God on my life, on my mom's life, on anyone's life that this is not fake, this is not clickbait. 
because I'm pretty sure a couple of you guys would might be thinking that it could be clickbait since I stopped the video, but that was because I kind of got pissed because um, I thought it wouldn't work and then I thought I did this whole video for nothing, but then I tried restarting my iPhone and it worked. So anyways, as you can see, you just need to restart your iPhone after all the steps I've told you. And then when you go into iCloud, no iCloud. Yay. Also, this will this will also I believe remove the account. Oh, okay, it won't. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess that's cool. Um, what about in music? Uh, okay. Let's see. No. All right. Well, I guess it leaves the accounts on the music and the app store, so that's pretty good. Um, and if it does do that, and if someone else is signed in, all you got to do is just hit sign out and it won't let you or it won't make you use the password. Um, but yeah, anyways, as you can see, that was a complete success. Now you can go in iCloud and sign in with your Apple ID and password. Now there is one catch. I warn you, do not restart your iPhone. Or, wow, oh my god. Do not reset your iPhone. If you reset it to factory default settings and just, if you fully reset it, it will have find my iPhone on again um, for the other account because that will not go away it'll sync up to Apple's servers and get that back on so yeah don't do that anyways I will be signing in with my Apple ID and yeah I don't want to show it so I'll pause the video okay so as you can see I have my Apple ID on there and I do not have find my iPhone on um, and you could try not putting it on, and you could try putting it on, but if you reset it, it will have find my, uh, find my iPhone and activation lock for the other account that was on it before. But anyways, that was a complete success, I even though I almost thought it wasn't. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that is how you force remove iCloud on an iPhone 5 even a 4, even a 4S, and even the 5S, or the 5C. What, well, just any iPhone that runs 7.1.2, you can remove it. Um, so yeah, once again, I will be linking Hugh Jeffrey's iPhone 4, how to reforce, or how to force iCloud, or how to force remove iCloud from an iPhone 4. Um, I'll, I'll be linking that video down, be uh, down below. God, I cannot speak. I will be linking it down below, and, uh, yeah. So don't say I'm copying him, because technically I'm not, since I'm using an iPhone 5 for that. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.